full disclosure, the voice you are listening to now is artificially generated, brought to you by Satisphonic.com. See the link in the description for more details. What would you do with an extra $1,900 a month? Build a safety net. I doubt I would go on a major spending spree, but would relax a lot more. I would definitely stop always volunteering to work overtime to make ends meet. Build a safety net. I've been financially fucked over a bunch of times, but this once I lucked out. I had a decent job, and I was extremely frugal, so I was able to able to pay my bills without any worry, but I had to be very careful with my expenditures. Then for reasons I'll never know, my boss asks me what would it take for me to stay at the job. I pondered that for a while, and for once I decided not to shortchange myself, and I asked for 50%. My boss said he'd get back to me. I got it. I was totally shocked. I took the money and put as much as I could into matching 400 wonk and save the rest. The stock market was doing very well and my 400 wonk was increasing by $1,000 a week. After all the times I've been screwed over and lost massive amounts of money, I was able to partially recover. I took the money and put as much as I could into matching 400 onik and save the rest. Non-American here. What's a matching 400 wonk? Does it mean you put money in your retirement fund and the employer matches it? Like you put $100 and the employer puts $100? That's the same boat my husband and I are in. He has to work six days just barely scraping by. He's almost 60 and trust me it wears on you, and I don't know how much longer his body will put up with this. Live the dream of being able to put my bills on auto pay and not have to worry about what I really don't need this week from the grocery store. So I'd pay off my credit card debt and then this 100%. Same, I'd put it all towards debt, which should be gone in about 4-5 months. Then I'd just live like a normal person, not overspending, but also not checking my bank account before every purchase. I fucking hate this. Even if it's something for five dollars, I still check my account to make sure I haven't gone into the negative for any reason. Oh crap, sorry, I must have grabbed the wrong card. Let me just run back to the car and grab it. And then I never return. Ever. That shop is ruined now. Cashier here, we honestly will never judge you for a decline card, and there's a 99.9% .9 chance we won't even remember your face. We are also poor, and most of us know what it's like to have a card decline. When I worked as a retail supervisor and was on the register, if the person in question had been kind or looked like they really needed their purchase, I just handed them their bag and told them to have a nice day if they were short. The store had a bad shoplifting problem anyway, being in a shitty neighborhood, and there was more than one occasion where I bought a customer's purchase for them when they were honest with me and told me they were going to have to steal it otherwise. I was very liberal with the discounts. Two, senior day. You look like a senior in high school. Take 20% off. If you were nice to me and nice to my cashiers and floor workers, I would take care of you. If you were a Karen though, all bets were off. Haha. <laughs> You catch more flies with honey after all. I just spent $50 on a handful of things and it immediately bummed me out. For those of you who never had to turn off auto pay, this is it. The luxury of auto pay is the single biggest stress relief. Move into my own apartment without roommates. Fuck the new apartment. I'm staying in my current apartment and saving up $1,900 a month until I can afford a down payment on a house. Then I move into my own house. You'll be able to afford that after a year. What's the average down payment on a house these days? Is it still 20? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. That fact that we'll all laugh is fucking depressing. I used to be this broke. It was a miserable time in my life. I remember budgeting down to our last remaining $10, rationing how much fuel I'd put in my car, being hounded by credit departments and feeling scared to answer the phone because a bill was late, feeling like a failure as a husband and father because we couldn't make ends meet. Through a lot of hard work and perseverance, my wife and I got out of this rut. Today we own a home and most of the bills are automatically paid. We are reasonably financially healthy. My heart goes out to you, my friend. Truly it does. Breathe easier. Not sure if serious or boomer. Retirement. Fund. I can already live with what I have. Another $22,800 today put away for an extended period of time means you'll get to live part of your life not working. Wasted on heat, lights, food, etc. What a waste. 
Based on your financial situation, our financial advisor system recommends Death the dead don't have to worry about pesky issues such as nutrient intake, warmth and solace. It's the ultimate investment strategy for those in your income bracket. We'd like to thank you for choosing Investor Corp. Financial Advisement Services and from the entire team, wish you a lovely death. 1900 a month is everything I need, Dej. In my country salaries are like from 350 to 600. Damn man, where do you live? I can take my savings and retire. Serbia X salaries are shit, but inflation hit so hard, you need at least 1000 monthly to be able to live peacefully. In the Middle East, a lot of people are working for as low as $160 a month, and the information is skyrocketing as well. I don't know how those poor people live. Ibuprofen is good for the inflammation. Savings, savings, savings. Pay my debt, move out and get an electric bike. Fucking live for one. That would be a game changer. Edit. Thank you for the gold. May your dreams all come true. Just don't charge it with an extension cord. Your dreams may be quickly crushed. Not in order, but the things I would buy or save for. Each month, our fridge freezer. Mine ironically is on its last legs. See next. A new powered wheelchair. A walk-in shower in the bathroom with handrail. Carpets for the bedrooms. A new bed. And lastly, save for a small electric car like the Citroen Amy. Just something to help me get to the local shops and have a little independence. Edit. I want to thank everyone for the lovely comment. You've all made a dull Sunday night a little bit brighter. Edit too. Thanks to all who've offered to help me, but honestly, I'm doing fine. There are a lot more people out there who need help more than I do. I'm lucky to have friends and family, and a truly amazing girlfriend, who all make life worth living for me. If you really do want to help and have a few shekels to spare, please consider giving a little to a local charity close to you. Thank you again, all. Bank it. Bank it. I hope you get this. First, pay off my debt. Then, I would take a much needed solo vacation to wherever. After that, save so it makes me more money. Pull.